to those of you who are reciting Buddha's name nowadays, we ask you one question. Are you certain for your rebirth? Ask a hundred people and a hundred people would shake their heads. Ask a thousand people and a thousand people would also shake their heads. They are not certain. This is a rare opportunity to come across. It is difficult to encounter in hundreds of millions of eons. Since it is very difficult to come across, we must not miss this opportunity once encountered. In this one life we must achieve. It would be a pity to not achieve it. We cannot walk the three paths. Once fallen into the three path will be 5,000 kalpas, the Buddha's words. Buddha doesn't threaten people. Buddha's words are honest, truthful words. Accidentally falling into the three path, there are rotation within the three path, and we would be unable to leave the three path. How long? 5,000 kalpas. Terrifying indeed. We do not want to endure that kind of suffering. We must be determined to transcend in this life. Relying upon the sutras to cultivate transcendence, accumulate merits in order to transcend. We accumulate merits helping suffered sentient beings to leave suffering behind and to attain happiness. These are all good deeds. For these good deeds, we do not ask for heaven and human blessings. We do not even ask for our current life's blessings. Everything is dedicated to seek rebirth to the land of ultimate bliss. This is crucially important. We have neglected these four sentences. Forgotten about Amitabha Buddha's 48 vows and the reciting of his name. Namo Amitabha Buddha is also often lost. There are too many afflictions and intermingling thoughts. Days after days, supplementing delusions that primarily begins from multimedia. You watch the television. You listen to the radio. You read the newspaper. You look at the magazines. You collect all these informations, informations that has nothing to do with ending birth and death, leaving the three realms. Instead, it obstructs our cultivation. When there is enlightenment, that is a good thing. When being enlightened, it is quick to take refuge. However, ordinary people's time being enlightened is short, while their time being diluted is much longer. One day, 24 hours, general awakening, the numbers added up together is less than one hour, while the time being diluted may add up to 23 hours, so there is no hope for rebirth. Your own awakened time has to be at least 12 hours. During 24 hours, 12 hours for delusion, 12 hours for awakening. Then there is a possibility for rebirth, but this is not certain.
Then how to be certain? Your awakening time must be at least twenty one hours and three hours for delusion. What is the three hours for? To sleep. Stay awake for 21 hours, reciting Amitabha Buddha's name uninterruptedly, then rebirth to the Western Pure Land is certain. You should remember, Mr. Huang Nianzu has set an example for us. In his last half year, half a year before he passed away, he recited Amitabha Buddha's name 140,000 times a day. Think about it. He recited Amitabha Buddha's name 140,000 times and was able to Wang Sheng after half of a year. We looked at the ancients. Knowing this matter is very serious. Did not even dare to sleep. Why? In order to seek rebirth in the Pure Land, in order to escape the cycle of reincarnation of the Six Realms, Recently, we see a few CDs being circulated. Life Force Temple. Three people learning Buddhism. Master Hai Ching. Master Hai Xian's mother and himself, Master Hai Xian. These three people completely rely upon one phrase, Amitofo, Amitabha Buddha. They were not worldly educated and are unable to read or write. They only knew how to recite one phrase, Amitofo, Venerable Master Hai Xian, has been seen reciting Amitabha Buddha's name for 92 years. How effective is it? At 112 years of age, his physical strength is the same as a young man. This makes people admire him. They feel inconceivable and Aksintaya. At the age of 112, he took care of himself and did not need the care from others. He did everything by himself. Cooking, carrying water, washing clothes, even fixing this and that. He was a monk, but his whole life was mostly farming. He had cultivated over 100 acres of wild mountain. There were only four people living in the temple. So, of course, four people could not finish the harvest of such a large area. So, when they couldn't finish the crops harvested, they would offer to the village. Venerable Master always paid attention to the poor people living there.
There was nobody who goes to worship the Buddha in his temples in the countryside. They had no incense, there was no income from offerings. They all relied all upon farming. Growing their own grains, spinach and fruits. Ninety-two restless years. The older he got, the stronger he was. He only recited Amitabha Buddha's name until there was an inconceivable Asintaya response. Three of them all went freely, happily. I will go now. And they were really gone. A few friends told Venerable Master, Venerable Master, let us know the time when you are leaving for the Western Pure Land. We will help you Chu Nian, chanting and praying. He refused. No need for a Chu Nian person. He refused. Chu Nian is not reliable. I go by myself is more reliable. They all knew their leaving time in advance. They left in a joyful and happy way. This is truly only rely upon faith, vow, uphold name, because these four words that they have achieved. We heard about it. We saw it. It really happened. It is the truth. We not only heard about it, I saw two people in America in San Francisco. There was an old lady who recited Buddha's name. Nianfo. She did the housework while staying at home. Her son studied in America. After graduation, he stayed back and worked in America, then married and had a child. The son and the daughter-in-law all went to work and had a child. So the son took his mother to America to take care of the child and help with the chores. All the housework was done by the mother. The child is about four years old. So he went to a kindergarten. Therefore, the old lady stayed on her own in the morning, reciting Buddha's name. Nobody interfered with her. The next door neighbours were foreigners, so conversations were unable to be understood. Well, that was a good time to endeavour, to take pains. Maybe she had recited for three years. She knew her time to leave in advance. Shi Wang Sheng passed away in the middle of the night. No one knew. Everyone was asleep. The next morning, no one was cooking. They thought the old lady was not awake, so they looked into her room. They saw her dressed neatly, wearing her Buddhist robe and holding her prayer beads cross-legged and sitting on the bed. There was no reply after they called her, so they took a closer look and realised that she had passed away. She left the wheel and put it aside. She prepared all the filial clothes for her son, her daughter-in-law and her grandson. 
Observing from all these details, she knew about her leaving day at least three months ago. If not, how could she finish all this very well? She must have done this when her son, her daughter-in-law went to work, her grandchild went to school. No one knew or saw what she was doing. At this moment, they were all placed on the bed, one part by one part on the bed. One of her good friend, an old Dharma friend, was Miss Tankan, who often listened to me lecturing. She brought this matter and told me that her old Dharma friend has Wang Sheng. It is this lady This is truly Wang Sheng, not Zhu Nian. In Maryland, on the East Coast, I also met a person. His name is Mr. Zhou Guang Da, a Chinese person. He opened a Bao Zi a Chinese bun bake store over in California. Then he had cancer. The hospital announced that it could not be treated anymore. They then told his family to take him back and let them know that he would not be able to survive for more than a month. The family was very anxious and there was no religious belief in the whole family. At this stage, the hospital did not accept him. So they started looking for a religion, hoping for a miracle to occur. At that time, we established a new Buddhist association. Just over a year ago, our Buddhist Association was established in 1984 and they asked me to be the president. This time, Mr. Zhou Guang Da's family found us. We sent four Dharma followers they were all pupil who recited Buddha's name, came to his house to see how he was. They phoned me and said, it is not possible, indeed, and there is no other way but to persuade him to recite the Buddha's name and seek rebirth into the Western Pure Land. This person has good roots. Immediately, he accepted the Dharma. He then instructed his family members to not seek for doctors and not to seek for medicines anymore. Everybody recited the Buddha's name to farewell him to Wang Sheng. He had wholeheartedly accepted it. Therefore, our four Dharma practitioners were divided into groups. There was four people in each group, and three of them were his family members. After reciting for three days and three nights, he left. He went away very peacefully. His whole body was soft and there were relics left behind after his cremation. This was a person who did not believe in the Buddha at the verge of death, but he had good roots. After persuading him, he could believe, told him to make vows, he truly made the vows which was very rare. The family members also cooperated, did not interfere. And Yi Jiao Fangxing strictly followed the Dharma, leading to a good effect. So the first major event that the Buddhist Association did was to send a person to Wang Sheng. And in the meantime, being sent a person without religion belief to Wang Sheng successfully did it. This was because he had blessings, good fortune, he had this fate. 
Forty years ago in Taiwan, I met an old lady. At Chiang Chiang village, also knew her time to leave in advance. She Wang Shang while standing. In 1977, it was my first time lecturing in Hong Kong. Venerable Dharma Master Tan Chu had passed away. The place where we lectured was Chiu Long, Chinese Buddhist Library which was established by Venerable Dharma Master Tan Shu. I had never met Venerable Dharma Master. When Venerable Dharma Master was still alive, he opened a four Ji Qiang, seven days Buddhist retreat, and there was two audio tapes on his lectures. A Dharma follower brought them to me to listen. I did not quite understand much since Venerable Dharma Master was from the north and I could not quite understand his local accent. So I had to listen to the tapes over and over again and I heard it more than 30 times. I could probably understand about 80% and heard 80% of it. Venerable Dharma Master told two stories, a master who was practicing Dun and a master who was reciting Buddha's name. They were all Venerable Master Di Qian's disciple. The disciple who recited Buddha's name really had the achievement, chanted Buddha's name for three years, because he was not able to read and write, ordained when he was in his forties. He could not stay in the temple, so he was taken to the countryside. Finding a small shrine, an abandoned shrine, that no one needed, no one stayed. He lived there and was only taught one phrase, Namo Amitofo, recited until tired, and then rest. After resting, continued to recite, regardless of day or night, and rested whenever he was tired. Once recovered, immediately he started reciting again. This student is honest, obedient, and truly hard working. He had not left this shrine for three years, did not step out of the door. A day before his Wang Sheng rebirth, he paid a visit to his friends and came back at night. There was an old lady there to take care of him. He told her, Tomorrow you do not need to cook rice for me. The old lady thought to herself, Master has not walked out of the door for three years. Today he visited his friends. Maybe his friends invited him for lunch. I do not need to cook lunch tomorrow. At noon, the old lady went to check again, checking to see if her master has gone out. There was no one in the shrine. No one replied when cold. After finding everywhere, she saw her master standing in the room, facing west. holding the prayer beads on his hand. The lady called. He did not answer. After carefully examining, she was certain that he passed away. She was scared, stunned. She had never seen a person who passed away while standing. This countryside helmet had a few Buddhist learners. All were Venerable Master Di Xian's students, were lay disciple who took the three refuges ceremony. She then called them to come. Everyone came to see. 
They discuss and quickly sent a letter to Master Di Xian. At that time, there was no means of transportation, only walking. It took one day to walk from the small shrine to Guangzhou Temple. Old Venerable Master hurriedly came to this place, back and forth, took three days, but he was still standing there for three days. You see, he was already dead, but he was still standing there for three days. Old Venerable Master came to handle the remain for him, while praising him, complimented him, use him to persuadely encourage people who are reciting the Buddha's name, to learn and practice from him. Other than that, there was a person who Wang Sheng at Ultimate Bliss Temple in Harbin. The Ultimate Bliss Temple has just finished building. The Ultimate Bliss Temple has just finished building, which was also established by Venerable Master Dan Shu. Dan Shu was Venerable Master Di Xian's student. He was from the north. After ordained, Old Venerable Master told him to return to his hometown to propagate the Dharma. Your fate is in the north. So then, he has built more than 10 monasteries, temples in the north, all established by Old Venerable Master Tan Su. After the completing of the Ultimate Bliss Temple, Firstly, a Dharma assembly was held, hoping this temple will become florist. The first passing precepts were held. During preaching the precepts, there were many people, from laymen to ordained people, volunteering to protect the Dharma. There was an ordained monk, Dharma Master Siu Wu, who was a person who honestly recited the Buddha's name and he did not know how to read and write. Before ordaining, he was a plasterer. After ordaining, he was doing errand jobs at the monastery, all the jobs that were refused by others. He did them all. He was not afraid of hard work, went to the temple to volunteer. Dharma Master Ding Si was a Dang Cha Shu, then asked Master Siu Wu, what jobs can you do? The master replied that he wanted to take care of the patients. This passing precept dharma assembly took 53 days. So, if there was a person who catched a cold, then you could come and take care of them. The monastery needed a person like that, so they accepted him. After a while, master looked for dharma master Tan Su. looked for Master Ding Si and told the both of them he was about to leave. Old Dharma Master Tan Su was well cultivated, does not refuse when people come, does not keep when people leave, said nothing. But Dharma Master Ding Si was Dang Cha Su, then reprimanded him. Passing precepts only takes 53 days. Don't you have this bit of patient mind? Why do you want to leave after only arriving here a few days? Master then said, I did report to old venerable master. I am not going somewhere else. I am going to Wangsheng, to the land of ultimate bliss. This matter is too good. Master, you will Wangsheng, to the land of ultimate bliss. Dharma Master Ding Si then asked Master, when will you go? Master replied, no more than 10 days, within 10 days. The old venerable master understood, then instructed to have prepared 200 kilograms of dried wood to get ready for his cremation. Ding Si Master has agreed. On the second day, Master came again and told Old Venerable Master, Today I have to go. Everyone quickly prepared a small room, tent room, for him. The chopping woods were also ready. 
He truly Wang Sheng. He hoped to have a few people, a few people who would recite the Buddha's name to help him Wang Sheng. Of course, everyone was delighted and joyful. The people who sent him to Wang Sheng told him. Before people who truly knew their leaving time in advance recited the Buddha's name and Wang Sheng, have all left a few poems, left a few verses as a memory for the people who sent them to Wang Sheng. They said to Master Xiu Wu, You, Master, please make a few poems for us or a verse. Master Xiu Wu replied, I am a countryside person, did not go to school, do not know how to read nor write. After being ordained, I always did hard jobs that no one wanted to do, so I do not know how to make poems nor verses. But because you have insisted, then I have one sentence. Able to say but not able to do is not true wisdom. Everyone heard this, felt that these two sentences were very good and practical. Everyone recited Buddha name to farewell him. Not long after reciting, Master left, truly left. These people who recite Buddha and Wang Sheng left freely. Seemed to not know how to read nor write. If we carefully observe the conditions that they prepare, honest, obedient, truly hard-working, this was the secret of these people who have achieved success in reciting Buddha and to have Wang Sheng reborn freely. They were, of course, in order to meet these conditions, the most important door is to completely let go, has no trace of nostalgia towards this world. Then that is good. If there is a slightest nostalgia towards the world, still care about it, then you are unable to leave. And if your life span is up, you still have to continue engaging in the six realms of reincarnation. Today, we see the content on this CD. Lie for temple, a small temple in the countryside that is not conspicuous, familiar. But there are three high virtuous people, freely Wang Sheng, by reciting Buddha. The first person, Dharma Master Hai Ching. Has left a whole body, relics, offering in this small temple. The second person was old Venerable Master Hai Xiang's mother. She left at the age of 86 years old. Eight years later, old Venerable Master wanted the reburial for her. The coffin was disinterred, but the corpse were gone, nowhere to be seen. In the coffin, there was only a few nails, nails to build the coffin. Until today, uh, Old Venerable Master uh, Hai Xiang, Wang Sheng, for more than one year already. Master uh, did Wang Sheng on January 2013. Uh, 
in the future, old Venerable Master leave relics or whole body relics. The tower has not yet been opened, so we do not know. Truly amazing. Only relying upon four words, faith, vow, uphold, name. Their achievements are asymptaya, imponderable and inconceivable. They truly are the mirrors of people who recite Buddha's name during the Dharma ending age. Wang Sheng back to the Western Pure Land and became a Buddha. This life is truly not wasted. Complete fullness of merits. May the merit and virtue accrued from this work adorn the Buddha's pure land, repaying four kinds of kindness above and aiding those suffering in the path below. May those who see and hear of this all bring forth the resolve for body and when this retribution body is over, be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha Buddha.